what is up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel zen x os custom room finally available for redmi note 8 this room has some great and cool features which you don't might get in all other custom rooms it's just based on aosp which has the android version 10 and zen x version you can say is 1.7 with the latest july security patch and this is the video i'm just gonna share with you some features of Zenx os room nothing else because it's just fully based on aosp based things so no extra things but just have some great and cool features which i just want to share with you in this video make sure to watch this video till the end to understand everything and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe me and now let's get started quickly okay so let's start with the home screen first of all as it's just based on aosp you can say or type of pixel thing so it has pixel launcher pre-installed just hold there go to home settings we have all the pixel features pixel launcher features which has the add icon to home screen display google app etc you also get the swipe down gesture like this and if you are noticing we have something interesting here Quick setting tiles are just great and you can customize these things in settings. It has some great things, some header images and also you can see this temperature here and these quick setting tiles you can customize a lot and also if you are noticing we have a very very cool customizable quick settings. We got the dialer quick settings available, calculator which were not present in all other things and this is kind of great thing and this is if you are noticing we have a, this new thing here so you can just disable it to disable notifications this is kind of great thing now let's move on to some other things by swiping right you get this google pixel feed as expected we have installed the google pixel launcher here and now let's check out some other things we have geekbench scores magic manager let me tell you one by one all these things okay so first of all let me take a look at the camera we have this MIUI camera pre-installed here which has the 48 megapixel camera photo mode and if we talk about the ultra wide that's also perfectly fine here looking very interesting we have the macro lens also here click here and when you go to settings we have all the MIUI camera settings this is not ANX camera so just no need to worry about just disable this thing move on to some other things if we talk about the Geekbench score I have a Geekbench score of a normal thing kinda you can say 307 is 3010 actually yes 3010 is the single core score and 1320 is the multi core score 310 is not bad as you can see 307 is the average one we got 310 and multi core 1300 to 1320 it's just better than the stock and looks pretty much impressive okay move on to some other things i'm using magisk 20.4 here and device is certified which means you can use banking apps if you want to let me just tell you settings here and as you can see device is certified so that's an interesting thing you can use magisk 20.4 alongside with the banking apps if you want to use that and also if you are noticing at my status bar i have enabled dual row this is kind of other thing this is kind of other thing it means i have just enabled the dual row option in the status bar and this option is also available in these settings let's move on to the settings right now okay so here we are in the settings and if you talk about the settings as i already told you it has some great and advanced features and where are those features in this zen hub we will take a look at these features later on so just move on to some other things first of all if you are noticing we don't have these kind of sides some icons or these kind of but we have all these things right left of the screen right now ultra power saving smart charging including battery temperature and screen uses these kind of options you get here in display you have this animated icons available this is kind of great thing which you also get in msm extended custom room and this is kind of great thing you can adjust the screen timeout and the lock screen timeout you also have the display calibration and some double tap to wake options etc if we talk about other things we have sound storage and privacy these kind of things let me tell you one thing which i didn't got a lot of times i think in other custom rooms if you are noticing we have a great thing show clipboard access alerts which means whenever an app tries to access your clipboard it will give you a toast notification 
that's kind of very much interesting thing and i didn't got this feature anywhere and whenever i tried to copy and paste text in chrome i got the pop up regarding chrome is accessing my clipboard this is very interesting and very good powerful feature for a device and this is one of the great features i have ever used in a custom room and this feature just great and i just i'm so excited to use this room this is one of the greatest ever rooms till now in the terms of privacy features because this is one of the great feature this is just a single feature but one of the great one other things include location security security does not have the face lock unfortunately but maybe you can use the smart lock to use google face lock i'm not sure about that google system and about phone as i already shown you now let's move on to the main part okay so we are here this main part zen hub and if you are seeing this is kind of very unique settings if i show you all these settings this might be a very long wait so just i'll show you in brief all these settings one by one so now let's first of all quickly go to status bar in status bar and we have we have two things status bar and quick settings where you can adjust the layout some header images and if we talk about the android r style notifications and here this is the quick setting style style which you can adjust if i choose ink drop which i personally use in msm also and then we got these kind of quick setting styles here there are a lot of extra styles options are available too you should try out these settings one by one other things which include slider position quick setting header font size and quick setting elements which include the privacy chip and data usage in the quick setting footers and some other things these kind of just go for it and try it out and in status bar some battery icons gestures and a lot more same things like other custom rooms wo wifi volti all the icons are customizable which is kind of great thing now let's move on to notifications here we have notification customizations and heads up customizations notifications have disable force close notifications and kill app button etc and their notifications we have heads up which means pop up notifications etc if we talk about the lock screen we have the double tap to sleep info widget and we have the lock screen animation this is kind of great thing let me just tell you we have just enabled this pulse option here so now let me just turn off my screen once and now if you are seeing this this is one of the great ever things this is animation this is just a unique thing and i personally like this a lot you should try out this thing for sure this is one of the greatest ever things we can choose the aod option then this animation will work definitely and this looks damn cool this is one of the greatest features we have the charging animation also progress colorful water explosion a lot more and these are some unique features you don't get in all other custom rooms too ambient display which has the edge lighting as expected some show always things and little bit of other customization options too we have navigation customizations which has the pulse and we have power menu customizations we have the volume customization options too i'm not going to share with you all these features one by one because these are a lot user interface and here the dark theme dark theme and styles and wallpaper have these these four styles and clock there are a lot of options in clock also this is kind of great thing we have status bar dual row option you can off this on notification bar notification plus status bar and notification plus system bar used data whatever else you want to choose you can choose that one like this i have enabled the status bar dual row and looks kind of pretty much impressive all other things include this screen which has a use framework values and some animations there are a lot and some miscellaneous customization options include gaming mode and screenshot type etc here we have the sensor block per package smart pixels and a lot more things at last we have device part which is actually xiaomi parts and where we got the mi sound enhancer and these were all the features i just want to share with you these are some unique features animated icons everywhere you should try out this room in the terms of 
features i'm not sure about the performance battery backup or whatever else as i clearly mentioned i'm going to share out some features of zen x os and this room is available for redmi note 8 for other devices i'm not sure about that for redmi note 3 it's officially available for some other devices it's available too i'll try to provide you the link in the description so that you can download for your device this was all thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye have a nice day